everybody, and welcome back to Gone Stitching here on Blog Talk Radio. I am your host, Renee Seidman, here at Gone Stitching. Uh, Gone Stitching is also your full-service needlepoint store located where? Come on, guys, you haven't heard me say it in like three weeks. Come on, you missed it, right? We are located in lovely downtown Bergenfield, New Jersey. And again, we're on the web at www.gonstitching.net. And remember, when they ask where you've been, tell them you've gone stitching. Well, welcome back, everybody. We have had a bit of a vacation here. So I don't know if we should call it a vacation, but yeah, yeah, let's call it a vacation. Um, <laughs> I've actually been away for three weeks, um, and we've had, we had two weeks off. But uh, three weeks ago when we were together, um, unfortunately, I was very sick and had no voice. So um, my partner in crime, Michelle, uh, jumped in, and you all got to hear her. She was wonderful. Please keep sending those emails about how great she was. Um, And she subbed in for me, um, though I was sitting right there, and as some people said, they heard me coughing all through, but, yeah, I was there too. Um, And then we had two weeks off for the holidays. Um, So we had Passover, we had Easter, we had Good Friday, um, we're all one size bigger now, and we all have to go back to Weight Watchers. But you know, um, but we're all back to back to our normal routine. We're not eating three meals a day again. Um, but so we, uh, for all of you who are new to our show, and I say that because there are a bunch of you listening who I believe are new. Um, our numbers seem to have taken a bit of a spike. Um, since uh, the new issue of Needlepoint Now came out. Uh, So there are quite a few of you out there, I believe, who may be listening to us uh, live for the first time. So we welcome everybody. Um, For anyone out there who does not get our weekly newsletter, you are missing something special. And if you want to get it, all you got to do is send me an email or send Michelle an email. Uh, to Renee at GonStitching.net or Michelle at GonStitching.net, and we will make sure that we get you on that list. We do all sorts of fun things on the newsletter. Uh, usually goes out Thursday or Friday, um, but there may be some people out there that, uh, you know, maybe you're looking for a new stitch on a weekly basis, or maybe you want to hear about a new canvas. And of course, we tell you who's coming on the show and, you know, remind you to enter the contest and all those fun things. So what else has been going on? Uh, We have new fun stuff, I'm telling you. You know, we may have taken a vacation, but the web guy didn't. So Rob, the web guy, um, has been busy working uh, in our absence, and we now have a YouTube channel. Yes, Gone Stitching is on YouTube. So how do you do this? All right, everybody, you're going to go to www.uyoutube.com. And if you type in Gone Stitching or if you go to channels and you type in Gone Stitching, you're going to find us there. Now, I will tell you, for those of you who are not familiar with YouTube, the way YouTube works is you are allowed to record for up to 10 minutes. So on our typical show, which is 30 minutes long, it will be listed as, Show 35, part one of three, part one of, you know, part two of three, part three of three. So that's how every show will get listed, and that's not because we wanted it that way. That's just our constraints with the way YouTube um, allows things. So if you see three shows for every show, that's normal. Um, And, you know, we have, uh, I think, some pictures that are changing on each one, and I haven't even seen all of them myself, but, you know, um, something new, something fun. And, um, you know, also also, all of you who have been following the website, you will see we've got much more stuff on the website. And, uh, you know, we've been, you know, conning a 14-year-old kid to help put stuff up on the site. And, you know, Elliot's been very, very helpful (laughs) at getting more canvases and more threads uh, for all of you to see at your leisure. And what else? What else has been going on? Uh, there is still time to enter the Our World contest. Um, the Now that, you know, Easter's over and Passover's over, I don't want to hear you don't have time anymore. You know, okay, fine. You had the entire family. You had to cook. You had to clean. You had to do all that. Well, that's over now. 
Okay, your time is back to yourself. So there is still time. Get on the website. Pick out pick out a couple of threads. Come out with something fabulous. Um, and, um, you know, the deadline is what? The beginning of June, I believe. I'll have to check on the site. June 3rd. You've got plenty of time. It's only a six-by-six six design, guys. And really, you can do it on 14-count campus. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun. And we want to keep, you know, Tony Maneri really busy this summer. You know, we want him to have lots and lots and lots of canvases to be judging. Um, and, again, we're going to get them all up on the website this summer, and you all get to vote. So, all right, I know I've been talking a lot today, but, you know, we just, I missed you guys. I had, you know, I, I, I was beginning to have withdrawal. I was thinking about it this morning, in fact. Um, but the most important part of today is um, that, you know, we got a fabulous guest because, you know, we always have a fabulous guest. But this time we have a great, great guest. Um, <laughs> before I go any further, let me tell you about her. Um, her name is June McKnight. Everybody's going, wait a second. I have a book by her. Oh, well, you probably do because she's written 14 stitch books. Now, June's books um, have a look to them. So I know, look on that shelf next to you with all your stitch books. They are spiral, bra- yeah, spiral bound. Um, most of them are, they're chunky. They're like those short, fat books. Um, and they're great because you can take them wherever you go, um, and they flip over, and you don't have to break the binding on any of the books, um, and they're fabulous. They're fabulous. So we'll go through all of her books today. Um, but June, just to give you a little bit of background on June before we bring her on the line, um, you know, how long has June been stitching? Um, well, apparently, you know, she grew up with a needle in her hand. In fact, she was born with a needle in her hand, I believe. Um, and her family, um, you know, always stitched as a group, and she was um, part and parcel of that. Um, she has done many things. She has been a teacher in her life. She has opened, she has had a needlepoint shop. Um, she has been a needlepoint teacher, um, and of course, um, she is a prolific author. So, before we go any further, let's see if we can get June on the line. Good morning, Renee. How are you? Hi, June. How are you? I'm delighted to be with you on this bright and shiny morning. <laughs> Which, by the way, I didn't, you know, I realized I was so excited to be back on the air today that I didn't tell people what day it was. You see, the one thing we have to do, June, is if I don't actually say the date, um, you know, forget it. I can't keep track of the show. So, yes, so today is April 12th. It is. <laughs> um, can you believe it's the middle of April? I cannot. I, I, can't, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. It's the middle of April, um, which means, you know, people are going to be looking at summertime and summertime projects already. Indeed. Indeed. Well, I want to add a little bit to the story you told about me. I was really a very child prolific uh, stitcher. At three years of age, I was the first born grandchild on two sides of the family. We're a Polish family. There's a great heritage of handwork. And so they dragged me along to all these little stitching events, and I was, of course, expected to stitch. So it's been part of my life for decades. So it's just natural for me to feel real comfortable. Not